We're back, and this is a big day today. Big day that I've been waiting for. Hopefully you guys have too. Well, let me just start this whole thing again. Here we go again. <laughs> Fuck it now. It's so much easier when you start the day. When you've chatted and then you start, it's hard. As you can see, I've got the CR250 that Wob's built. It's all finished. We're gonna have a little ride on it. We're gonna take you through it. Behind me are the yams, they're finished. In front of me is another CR250 that Wob's done. So that's the good news. It's all finished. And we also have some very bad news that we are um, let you know later on in the vlog. Wob standing next to his favourite ones, the blue ones. I know, he's, he's uh, I like a yam, I'm sorry, times, I like a yam. Favorite. I'd prefer Suzuki, to be honest. I'd like to build you one of those, but we're not allowed. So, what have we got here then, Wob? I want to know all the details um, from my eye. From the eye, it looks absolutely unbelievable. Down to these, the bar pads. Yeah, the Renthal have come out with a new cloth bar pad to replicate like they used to have in the 90s. And um, They look tricky, and I thought, yeah. when I see them in the um, few pictures, I was like, well, whatever cloth no, bar pad cool. and then when you see that on it, it looks so much cooler. yeah they're cool so Renthal are going to launch that on these bikes next weekend the vmx dn i mean the biggest part is pro circuit motor mitch payton yeah ground the motor for us himself did it, did it sound uh, nice when you fired sounds it sounds so good really it sounds so crisp yeah we haven't fired yeah, it much yet i've not heard it special pipe and silencer on them gmx rads samco hoses uh pro circuit triple clamps k-tech did the suspension talon wheels our own super light bolts, big discs, our own brake carrier. On this is the first time you've seen them, is the new titanium foot peg hangers we just made. Oh, you've made them? Just made them. For yeah. these bikes? Yeah. But they are for sale? Yeah, we've got a few of them. They look nice, they do look really nice, but... Um... Another thing is the steering damper, because we figured a lot of you guys are going to be on the gas down the hills at, at Fox Hill, and you don't want that head shake, so... No. Definitely don't crank, want That's what I used to get on my 50. Dad used to didn't do it up. Just <laughs> get a tank slip and end up in the ambulance. Crank them up. But yeah, like Wob says, K-Tech have done the suspension for me. Factory Image Racing, they gear for us some bits and bobs, really. A lot of the stuff you used. Um, yeah, hoses and cables and bits and pieces. Yeah. All come from those guys. And then I'm going to do a giveaway. Phil Denton well. Engineering, build it, bid it linkage if you want to have a look at that. Flip it over, time lift it, lean it over. Great. Nice that's our own skid, that's our own skid plate. Oh, I'll let you have a look. Come on, technical. Technical Tommy. Oh yeah, that, love, that looks lovely. What, who's made the skid plate? You? I'm or a, Phil I'm, Denton? I made the skid plate. Phil, Phil Denton made the uh, linkage. And then oh, we, that's his linkage yeah, there. Yeah, we make the billet rear brake carrier. We make the front carrier, the discs. See how that's on, on its side there? Carrier? You're going to get it upside down in a minute? I will try, yeah. I'm quite excited. I've been up in the Bobcat. I um, feel absolutely awful. I've had a mouthful of dust, breathing dust, still coughing dust up. But I think we've got a couple of nice takeoffs. We dry blast the levers. Back in the day, we used to have like grip tape for the levers and then wrap it over and it wouldn't last. Yeah, now my one's shiny. This minutes. one, I just. And so I was what we like, do well, is we just linish nice. the edge off them a little bit. Um, on the yams, I had to bend them here to make an increased bend because the lever was hitting the ball before it hit and it wouldn't disengage the clutch nicely. So we just hand bend them. Yeah. I like and the then, colour as well, it matches. Yeah. We ended up sandblasting or wob yeah, sandblasted that. We didn't like the blue. The like that. We still got the blue on that one, but this looks better, I think. And uh, I've had polysport plastics. Polysport plastic. That's all done. And you can win some polysport stuff at the end of the vlog. The same as you can win some factory image racing stuff at the end of the vlog. So stay. God, there's a lot at the end. There's a, some bad news. Yeah, there's bad news. But that's that's gonna. After I've let them know the bad news, I'm gonna try and like take Soften their mind the off blood. it and then like give some stuff away. Because I'm not happy about the news, but it is what it is. Uh, we've also got talon wheels. Um, I even went down there and done a vlog, so that'll be out shortly after. I'm editing that myself, so it's just taking a bit of time. Talon wheels, but they've courtesy of Dirtworks. Um, so go visit them, they've got a shop, sell them out across enduro bikes. Uh, so a big thank out, a big shout out to Dirtworks, because um, they've helped out a lot. Who else we got to thank Wob while we're on the subject? Wob, I've got to thank Wob, because he's put yeah. a lot of hours in, Me. and Tony. I haven't put plenty of these time These are the boys on. behind the... Um, we've been three months building these, flat out. Well, yeah. if you remember back, it was cr before Christmas that you first rode this. Is it? No. Yeah. Before? No, I think it was after Christmas. Are you sure? Was it? No, I can't. Well, early, quite. early then. It yeah, was it was winter. early doors because it was winter. I remember standing, track was wet, horrible, we was freezing. 
but can you show can you throw in a shot of when we got the old bike out and a new bike i did in the last vlog yeah but they we can do it in a new vlog as well if you want to watch when this was halfway built you've got this you've got a vlog here that would be there actually all right if you want to when if you want to watch when this was halfway built you can click here and if you want to watch when we first got the bike and what um bought it over here and showed me it and i went for a little tear around in the winter a long time ago now um you can also watch that one here and then in a minute if you carry on watching you see me ride this one here where we are that'll make you is go that faster me? oh thank you shall i drink this now because i think as billy told me earlier this is for during uh i read all about this don't, that'll get you through your five lap races yeah this will get me through um the five lappers what is it uh, it's an energy drink made by Ride Nutrition, but the, Bill's other uh, Bill's other product or Ride Nutrition's other product was um, for before, like the day before, the morning before, and these ones are for during. So, like, if I go up do it like a forty now on this bike, then I can have some of that in between, go ride again. So, um, Bill, get your money out for advertising your brand. These are pants. You can also buy these at Ride Nutrition. Nice. Kex have made them. Oh, they do look nice. They're only available at Ride Nutrition. Then. Oh, you can't buy them on Kex no, website. Only available at Ride. No, so they're um, available at Ride Nutrition. So get your drinks. Oh, oh, those are mine. I've already bagged those, and um, I'll be on top form next race. What's going on there? Final adjustments. It actually feels surprisingly similar. To, like the other, the '96 that I rode, you sat in it a lot oh, more. Yeah. This one, you're back on top like a modern, like a modern bike. Okay. You're at the kick alive. What, you want to hear it? I want to hear it. We're just having a chat, Ed. Is there a process to this or just kick? I wish they could smell it. Nice. Should we have a ride? How much can I rev it? What? Have you run it in round the field a couple of times? Yeah. I mean. Well, I don't we, want to rev it and then blow it out. I don't want to like, obviously we won't blow do, it. I don't want to do no we damage. We could do with, we could, I'll tell you what, let's let it cool down. Yeah. And then we'll come back to it, check the water. So this front brake needs to be adjusted out. It's like bedded in. Like That's what we need like to do. It feels perfect now. So I've come up, I've just done two laps, um, sent the double, a little bit of a whip as much as I could. It's quite hard to whip this one because it's not as much power as a 450, but I've done two laps. Ed's put a big stint in in the, the tractor. I put a stint in, I think I mentioned it earlier, in the Bobcat. Still coughing up dust. Um, but the track's right, rideable, and I wanted to do a few jumps on the bike. It's nice, isn't it, to throw some whips and stuff, or at least have an attempt at it. Done a, I put a berm in over there so I can rail that, get a reel out of that as well while we're up here. But um, it's so much better riding around a proper track than that little Mickey Mouse thing there. Honestly, you get a proper feel now. So. Right then, less less talk, more action. Oh, you want some B-roll? You want me to send it for a few shots? Yeah, let's get on it now. All right, let's go. <laughs> I wanted to bump it, but then I just thought, it's just better, isn't it, kickstarting it? I don't get a kickstart any bikes these days. Have a look. Tommy Searle there. Oh, oh very nice. <laughs> hey, what? Fucking come off there a bit fast. <laughs> he put me back out. Did you get G'd on by the air horn? Yeah, I got all possessing. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas coming through the valley. It's about time you've done something good, isn't it? Well, I bet you've only given me fucking two corners so far. You whipped it on the second jump, man. 
Oh, no, first time over it. Well, exactly. You jump one jump and then whip the second Honestly, one. Honestly, that jump, it's easier for me to whip it than not whip it. Well, let's go and have a look at it. Come on, this is going to be my second time hitting the jump. So I've actually only took off the bite. I jumped one jump and then I've done this and then I'm going to do it my second time. I'm going to try for our whip because the wind's picking up. I think I need to do it sooner rather than later. Just give us a teaser to start with and then go big when you're comfy. I don't think I'm going to get any much more comfy than I am now. Right, I'll tell you what, I was in a bit of a bad mood earlier now. I'm loving life. But <laughs> honestly, I thought earlier, motocross fucking good. I was felt shit, a bit lethargic. Just now, now, brand new, it's banking. <laughs> Can you whip that better than the 450? I tell you what, I'm a bit. I was a bit scared. I'm a lunatic, really, because it's a bit. Well, I've just not hit it. I've only hit it three times today. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that all three times, and I've filled the takeoff in, but it's like marbly dirt. And then I'm spinning so much here that time it like span up, and I was like, "Fuck, I'm still gonna send it." I think I can go more, but I'm like, I'm so I'm everything it's got, which is mad because the 96 was everything it's got as well. Yeah. That's 52 stroke, aren't they? I reckon the 96 is a better engine than this, but I don't think it is. I don't think there's much power difference. We call it a day, I think, but now I've got you all excited. Yeah, um, get myself excited. Uh, I'll give you the bad news, which is really bad news. It's time to disappoint. Yeah, it's time to disappoint. I've got my head around it now. I'm not sure Wob's quite got his head around it yet. But unfortunately, with me being in a position to win a championship, Honda don't really want me to race or don't want me to race at Fox Hills. Um, I can see there. I can see their point of view, it's just disappointing for us, but it is what it is. I'll try and put my focus into the British Championship, but at the same time, I'm coming up, I'm not going to miss the race. I'm going to be down there from Friday to Sunday. So still come, still watch the race, hang out with me and everyone else for a great weekend. But um, yeah, we're disappointed that I'm not going to be there racing, um, but I will be there watching um, with the rest of you. Well, yeah. you, you better do plenty of this, T-S. No, I'll do some sign. I'm generally looking forward to the weekend. Lots of my friends are going. Um, my family, lots of my family have always booked it, already booked tickets, even those that won't come in normally. So it is disappointing, but at the same time, it is what it is. I think I'm going to have a great weekend then, uh, nonetheless. Um, but this bike today has been unbelievable. So to hear them all, to see them all go around the track, I think everyone's in for a treat, isn't they? Should be a good weekend. I heard the yams fired up down there as well. Unreal. Um, but this bike's great, so... Well, shall we nip down and then re-excite yeah, them all with some giveaways? Overall, we've had a good day. Um, and we do plan on doing another race, don't we? That's the, that's we've the goal. We've got to get you in there. I want to see you race against the 450s with it. Somewhere. Yeah, so I think um, after my race at the British Championship, I'm going to race this somewhere before um, before the year's up, just to get the... Um, do you fancy coming down, Rob, in case he wins it in the first moto, and then we could have a... How good would that be? What? Well, we can't talk about winning the first moto. I've got to win it. I'd be happy to win it in any moto. Um, there's a 15-point gap, so it's a nice gap. Maybe go out in the second race. If I, if I need like a tenth... <laughs> if I, I need a not, tenth, maybe I, I can race it. I am not being responsible for that. I no. am not going to have Thorpey looking at me like that. No, I don't think I could get... A, well, I don't know. I don't think I could get a tenth on it. 
Um, I think the difference is quite big nowadays. And you know you four feel fast. Are, four fifters are so good. Yeah, you, like for instance on this now, I'm hitting this jump absolutely flat out. I think I could hit less speed if I want trying to whip because I'm like sliding my speed off up the takeoff. But the 450, if I hit that flat out, I'd land it on this one. With the giveaways, we're going to do it um, through Polysport, who've done the graphics, which is Not the graphics, Apico. the plastic. Sorry, Polysport done the plastics. Um, so thanks to those guys, apart from Cycrid that done these. But we're going to give away some Apico clothing, um, a little care package. Um, all you have to do is comment on the vlog and then we will pick a winner from the comments. And also, Factory Image Racing gave us a bit of um, help with the parts, um, so we're gonna give away a gazebo from them. So comment, anything, say you're looking forward to the race, see you at the race, um, anything about the bike, and um, if you've got a comment on it, you'll be entered into the draw. Go and watch the other videos from this, watch the podcast that me, Ed, and Wobber are about to do, um, and I shall see you at Foxhills.